hope the quality is decent because I'm streaming a stream with the match. Okay. So we only have Animorphs perspective, so it's going to be a, a little bit weird that we cannot kind of uh, switch between them. But uh, yeah, I guess that's uh, that's how it is. It's better than nothing. Let's give it a shot. And Animorph already picked his starting position, so he's fairly uh, confident about where to start. I don't think he needed much thought about the about that decision. And so actually like uh, spoiler for previous games, but I guess that's okay now if you're watching this. Crypto is basically not going to spend his two lives. So this is just going to be a complete clean uh, best of three. No lives is going to come into play. And um, yeah, it's good. So it's uh, in that way, it's going to be quite interesting if Crypto can make the, uh, the surprise win. But uh, I would say nine out of 10 would probably bet on Animorph here. But anything can happen, and Crypto has been quite good lately, even though he's uh, he's a bit rusty. So I hope this sound is decent. I cannot, it's hard for me to check without it going back into the stream and so on. I don't have the world's most crazy setup for stuff like this. So they uh, sound is good for me. Nice to hear. They pick the exact same spot, which uh, not too surprising. I wish Animorph would have turned off his uh, tooltips, but we can live with that. I wonder if is my is my cursor visible? No, it's not. Oh yeah, it is. It's just delayed, obviously. And the exact same spot again. So that's going to get tricky. And we might end up with having like uh, like two players starting in uncomfortable starting positions. And that can always change a game in either direction. Yep, cursor is visible. Thanks for the feedback, Valithor. Appreciate it. And thanks for stopping by. And now this is the first disagreement. I think uh, Valley Thor definitely has the best spot here. He has basically two two towns or cities available. One water refinery. Crypto, on the other hand, more easy access to to this refinery, and this is basically directly in, in between them. So it's going to be a fight over this and this, I think. Animorph will pr maybe take this as a starting position just to have one secure gas from the get-go. But he could also like pick all his starting position and then build a, a dock that he can cap these two, I think he can pass through here. So he could actually cap two fairly secure refineries and he could even use the transport boats to navigate to all um, uh, all kinds of interesting parts of the map. It really, uh, I think, because I played this map before, I'm fairly certain you can get through it here. And so, move one already. Yeah, I think so. So much safe expansion. So would you also say if, if it was the other way around, if, uh, if crypto had any more spot, would you also declare crypto a winner already? Or is it a mix of uh, any more starting position and his skills?
Yeah, because I imagine crypto, like he needs to get obviously to the west side. And yeah, okay, it's it's hard when I can't even control the camera. <laughs> we need a spectator mode in line war. Okay, it's based on the pick. It's uh, based on the pick. It's easy to say who is to win. If they lose, it's on them. Okay, so just like my last game against Anwolf. Okay, so as I hear you, you would say that if the starting position was switched around, Crypto would would get this win. But I mean, what if Crypto blocks off Animorph here and he gets a presence on the left side? He could get a lot of the map. I know that Animorph can access it by air and navy or by air and sea, I guess it's called. How many lives do they have? No lives left. Uh, well, basically, technically, Crypto has two lives, but uh, he already announced that he's not going to use them. So it's a completely clean best of three. No lives is uh, is going to um, come into consideration. Maybe it's on them is a bit much, but I definitely say at least 75 against 25 based on picking face without looking who is playing. Valley Thor says it could be very close still. Maybe it's decently evenly split. Crypto actually has faster expansion, so having safer expansion may not be as impactful. Yeah, I don't know if um, if Animorph can reach this part with transport planes or if he needs to use transport boats to get all the way over here. And it's going to take a long time to get up here unless, of course, he rushes up there with tanks or just haste moving infantry. It's so weird to, <laughs> to cast a game when you... Or when you cannot control the camera. Um, crypto just said he he doesn't want to use them. And he said it from the beginning, and then he's like, "Ah, uh, it's a uh, it's it's cringe if I go and use them now." Like I said from the get go, I'm not gonna use them, so he's sticking with that. So he also has the opportunity to really humiliate Animorph and whoever he is meeting in the mm -hmm. final if he wins the whole tournament without spending a single life and announcing that he doesn't want to spend them. That would be the ultimate uh, way to win. Also, it's it's hard to to see here, but there's actually a trade route here as well. But crypto definitely, like there's so much so much eco here. Crypto needs to get a hold of this, I think, or at least make sure that Animorph cannot build. Like it's not safe for him to build the eco. Yeah, he's playing it a bit weird. And I guess it's going to be a bit weird as well that we can only see what Animorph is doing, but um, we'll take it. Yeah, 
good point. I was actually just yapping, so I didn't even really notice what he did afterwards. But now that you mention it, it's it's kind of weird. Also, because if nothing else, if you can just shake your opponent just a tiny bit or make them um, not shake them, but make them uh, not 100 percent certain where you're going to start. Because I feel like only Animorph has that slight advantage now, though uh, I would say it's 99.9 where he would start anyways. Fun thing uh, I noticed when I watched uh, live streams is that you, aka, is one of the only ones who play with um, with music on. It's uh, it's rare to see anyone do that. Yeah, after the second pick, both of their starting positions were pretty much already set. At that point, you just kind of rush through the face since the rest doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, I uh, I agree, but it's still a bit weird that he did. Like, wouldn't you then still pick the starting positions that took up a lot of territories to get it over with faster? And now we get the first issues of streaming a stream. Wow, and the sound really went up now. I don't know how it is in stream, but I'm gonna. So I'm just gonna turn down my own headphones. Useless. Welcome to the stream. As Valithor said, Crypto might still have faster expansion in the beginning, which should give him a bit of an advantage for the early game. Valithor says, personally, I prioritize surrounding my opponent's pick to not give them any more options. And I completely agree with that. Except, like, I want to be 100% certain that they are going to start where they, like, where I would think they are. Because I can get in doubt and then I start panicking about, oh, should I, like, what if they do a surprise starting position? But I guess that's mostly nickname that does that. Uh, and then we've seen uh, Hako maybe uh, do it as well a few times. Yeah, Crypto could have extended further to the right, uh, to the right to grab a bit further to get more territory quickly. It's gonna be interesting to see when, when um, Animorph is running into Crypto, and he puts down the duck, which uh, makes a lot of sense and prioritizes expand expansion right away. And he wants to go to the closest, not island, but the part of that island that he's already on, uh, which I guess is. Uh, is a decent choice. That's where all the eco is. But we might see an, a navy from crypto as well. Yeah, there are two oils in water. Thanks for stopping by, Valley Flower. Okay, so Crypto is quick to cut off Animorph. And now it's going to be interesting to see how quickly Animorph runs into Crypto on the right side of this, um, I don't know what to call it, but where he just landed his troops. I can show with the mouse, of course, but over here, like how far, how far and quick is Crypto to get over here. 
and it seems like Anton is also just going capping territory up north, so he's not rushing up here. If Crypto put down air, he could very, very well be here um, rather quickly, and he could also be down here already. The ships can can pass, and very good decision from Animov to try to get a foothold all the way over to the right. Yes, exactly. Uh, AK says regarding the music, isn't there a special track when you meet your enemy? And yes, there is. And sometimes it starts playing before you can see them or hear them. Animal building quite a quite a bit of eco. Did he shut off his uh, shipyard? I think so. That's why I used the music. Yeah, fair enough. And. Yeah, I don't know. I just got used to not having the music. But that's maybe also because I'm playing so much. <laughs> it's uh, like if you hear the same music for 2000 hours, uh, it's going to be a, a bit. It's like hearing tanks while they are still in fog of war. Yeah, exactly. Crypto must have a lot of uh, units or expansion elsewhere because there's not that many units here in the center. Though clearly showing his helis now. And I think Animov took one of his factory into 100% SAM production. But Animov seemed content with just defending this position for now. Yeah, with only 220 hours, I have not yet heard my fill of line war music yet. Okay, so I assume we have one more line war music fan. Uh, and yeah, now I got this uh, spam chat and I have, like, I'm so bad at Twitch, I have no idea how to remove it. So we'll just have to ignore it. Yeah, except I don't know how. <laughs> I don't know how to ban. That's how new I am to this. Take his nickname and ban him in the context mutant you. something not only line war animal really has a big army now and I think he's uh, no it's not hard it is when you have no idea what you're doing so I think uh, animal really need to uh, consider soon moving more of his units elsewhere or push because he's starting to spend a lot of money on on the upkeep maybe i'm i don't know maybe this army sizes are fairly even maybe i'm i'm seeing it wrong yeah i guess it's not that bad crypto has a bit more artillery Animorph is really focused on this part of the map. He's not looking so much elsewhere. 
So I guess that also indicates that he probably wants to push soon enough. You have written, written many days, many people to my I'm, I'm gonna turn down the audio uh, for the game a bit but let me know if it's too too low now it's just very loud in my okay yeah so it is hopefully this is better without being too low And now he... Oh, this is a good move by Crypto. Animoth doesn't have anything on the left side. Or right side, sorry. He's gonna lose this... Uh, this part of the map, I think. Is it better now, AK? Okay, can you hear me? And can you still hear the game? Or is it complete silence now? Or very low? It's fine, okay, it's good. I think this is starting to look really tough for uh, for Animoff. Because Crypto is all the way down there. He's really been um, uh, thoughtful of any invasion from, from Animoff. And it's even looking sort of uh, not bad, but it's not looking... It's not like he's just rolling over Crypto in the middle. He actually has a decent artillery blob. He is working on the interceptors, but I don't think they will get there in time. He's doubling down on the right side, um, which I completely understand, but he can... Crypto has the opportunity to close him in with an entrenchment. I were crypto I would probably have dug in now in the middle but I think this is starting to I would be nervous if I was anymore if I like I would feel like I was behind at, at this moment is Crypto secretly hating entrenchments? Yeah, might be. He has an barracks here, so Animorph is not even outproducing him. It could be. We agree that Crypto should dig in right now. Like this is uh, starting to become a blob for Animorph, and that's the thing that could save him the game. If he just pushes through in the middle. Once again, great use of the helis from Crypto. To get them all over in, on the right side. Help out against infantry. I wonder if Crypto expanded to the left side. Stop.
Anyone of not giving a damn about any of your opinions, it seems just diddle diddle straight up the middle. <laughs> yeah, and that was actually exactly the same as, um, yeah, the, as he did against AKA. Like, I was, um, when I saw AKA's transport plane leaving that island in the beginning, and then, f first then, or only but only then Animal started producing his first transport plane when we saw AKs leave. And then when he were about to send off the the commandos, AKs um, commandos kills Animal's refinery and he loses the gas and the, the transport plane returns. That's when I was like, okay, yeah, Animal lost. Okay, so Crypto is also here. Now Crypto just needs to defend the middle. He needs to... Wow, he dug in. <laughs> Finally. But unfortunately, he's actually leaving the right side open. So that's going to be an issue for him. I'm surprised he's not... Maybe he doesn't have the units. But I would have kind of cut that off as well. Anyone should have used his shipyard to build some missile boats to in turn limit crypto chapters. Yeah. Agree. That's a bad entrenchment. He should cover right. I completely agree. It's bad uh, yeah, because he doesn't cover right. It's bad because he has the building in between. Like, he wasn't that pressured. Also, down here, he should really try to. Maybe it's out of gas. Like, there's not that much uh, gas for crypto. Yeah, I really don't like these entrenchments from, from crypto. He's just taking a beating right now. This could easily cost him a game that is otherwise going... Uh, very well for him. I have yet to do this, like dig in in front of another entrenchment. But I see um, more people do it. And I'm not sure if I like how it works. I ask myself how much crypto has invested on the lifts. Yeah, hard to say. But at the moment he could need more investment in the middle. But to be fair, animal of uh, like I assume you mean like if he invested too much in the lift. Well, Animorph only basically invested four units, right? And and only now is starting to invest a barracks and a factory. I think Animorph is holding on. Pretty good here. That could easily have been much worse for him. The push in the middle seems to die out now. Here comes the missile boats. They can really uh, stop everything going on with Crypto's helis because it will be much, much harder for them to move between the, the land masses or over the sea, I guess. through 
one missile ship won't beat six at least. Nope, definitely not. Wait, Animov actually also only has one refinery at the moment. Crypto should have picked off those two barracks with his helis, but maybe he, he can spot them. But I did notice black smoke just before, so I think he's uh, having a tough time with the with the gas as well. Yeah, well, Animov also actually has one, one more in the sea, but I don't know if you would call it safe, because Crypto Sailies could take it out if he pushes off, uh, like, right there. You just notice that it's right south here, and he could actually build this as well, but obviously it's very, like, it's not safe. Yeah, I don't think there's too much eco going on on the right side. Wasn't it only like one town? Yeah, that's fair enough that you only count his base as oil a safe one. Yeah. Crypto has a trade route, on the other hand, he could work on on the top left, right here. Yeah, exactly. Top left has uh, has some eco. Top right is uh, pretty barren, as you say. I think there's one town, maybe two. Actually, I can, I can check. Um, no, it doesn't. It doesn't have anything other than a single refinery. this to the stream and I think I know how to do that I just don't know how to crop it probably but here you can can see that uh, how the map looks okay that's that's terrible but yeah that's my skills uh, but you can just take a quick look at the map and I will remove it in in just a moment so as you can see there's actually two towns close at the down uh, what's it called down right bottom right where Animov landed and then on the top left there's one town one refinery and then there's the trade route save map as png and add static in oops okay oh ak you should be a streamer <laughs> I don't know if do we want it up all the time. It, interesting push from from uh, crypto, and he's looking good on the left side as well. Bit of wow, that's that's a lot of helis. 
animal of his is on his heels. Yeah, yeah, I will. But I don't know how much more we we need to look at it. But I guess I I can do that. And then I know there's something with scenes and so on. I could like edit without, like, so I can see how it looks without it actually being in what's it called in the video right away this this looks better so now we have it if we want it good for cast yeah true 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 that thanks for the for the tips crypto is actually pushing through on the left uh, just into a town that Animal built, and where are these heavies going? They're going for the airport. I think. Uh, I think Crypto is going to take this one. It doesn't matter too much if he loses land on the right side. Like the only th place where this is going good for, an uh, for Animal is at a place on the map that doesn't really matter. Crypto can't stop winning. Can't stop, he won't stop. Yeah, I I think this is This is interesting. Especially since we all agreed that Animal was in a clear favorable position from the get-go. I don't see how he can recover from this. That's why you can't go water on a map like this. Yeah. But he wouldn't have had any gas. I don't know. I could agree with the airport opening, but I don't know if it can reach the right side with transport planes. Is there even any um, gas on the... Let me just check. Um, no, there's no gas on that kind of like small island. Wow, that was terrible, terribly explained, but I mean like this uh, one with the two cities. That, uh, yeah, I don't know how to point it out better. I don't even know if my mouse goes over. Oh, this is tricky. I need to, I need to get better at this. And now I messed up again. Uh, is my mouse? No. Okay, so my mouse is behind the image. Interesting. Oh well. Yeah, but how would you get to the bottom right? Do you think the airport can reach it? You might be right. But also top left, right? You could so you could actually start the airport and then go bottom bottom right and top left and get those two. Okay. Okay. Okay, you just checked in sandbox and Actually, the airport he built can reach those two spots, so that's, uh... Well, then I would tend to agree with you. That is a lot of chevers. Yeah, I don't know why, um... Because it doesn't really matter if he, if he wins the right side. Well, of course it does, but... 
it's not that important. Yeah, he made the shipyard first instead of airport. I agree. He, I think he even insta built it, did he? Crypto making towns near frontline, and Wolf is dead, dead. Yeah, that's often a bad sign, right? Animal doing an AKA cosplay by conquering the right after getting kicked out of the left. Yeah, and we all know how that ends. Yeah, I, um, this is a big push from Crypto. I'm kind of surprised that he invested that much in that part of the map. And he's, you could spot now that he is doing the, the trade route as well. So well, a lot of, um, how do I stop? Oh my God, I can't even. Get rid of it without clicking and then click back. To be fair, it's not easy to stream a Discord stream. That's it. it at least not for me, in my defense. That loss made me barely sleep that night. Yeah, I understand. I was a tough one. Crypto build Navy as well. Which makes sense when you invest in a trade route, you want to defend it. Suddenly he's looking a bit shaky in the middle though. I assume he has it under control though. I assume it's because he, um, he sends a lot of units to the right. Animal in the minus now, minus 100 eco. That means his uh, producers starts uh, lagging. And here comes the this huge counter and a rocket. Oh my god. In such a risky spot, even. Crypto is safe. <laughs> He's safe everywhere. There's uh, only one way this can go. Crypto swimming in money. Yeah, I think so. And uh, clearly you can see Animorph is... Uh, He's considering the resignation now. Funny how, in my opinion, better spot lost just because he made shipyard. Yeah. Though I would say, yeah, and there's the GG. Well played by both. Oh, I I'm not 100% certain where Valithor stood. But I did see the potential in um, uh, in crypto starting position. So in in that way, I I completely get it. Um, but I think I could I would go with you in the beginning, saying that Enwolf had the better starting position. Shipyards can't stop losing. Can't stop, want to stop. Yeah, so I think I'm just gonna uh, take a one minute break and then hopefully I'll be back before the next game start. So see you in, in just a minute.
Okay, I'm back. Do you know how how long a break they are gonna take? Because I can't listen in on the Discord chat. It would screw everything up. I think. I guess Animal playstyle couldn't utilize his starting position. It was more of a nicknames playstyle type of stuff. Yeah, I kind of agree. I don't know if you watched my game against Nickname, but we played the same seed. And um, in short, I would say, yes, that is more of a nickname playstyle. Five minutes break. Okay, thank you, useless. <laughs> 